Today, we will once again take a look at interesting footage that captures a moment, how Ukrainian FPV drones easily drop bombs and take out entire Russian soldiers. For now, the UK will supply Ukraine with an additional 10,000 drones under a new $159 million, so Ukraine can turn the tide against Russia in the Black Sea and military aid package announced by British Defense Secretary Grant Shapps during a visit to Kyiv. Most of the unmanned aerial vehicles UAV, set for delivery are first-person view FPV, platforms, though a number of one-way attack, surveillance and maritime drones will also be provided. The latest pledge is in addition to the $255 million drone package announced by London in January and February's move to co-lead an international drone coalition for Ukraine with Latvia. The European coalition is targeting production and delivery of 1 million drones to the war-torn country. Britain steps up support to Ukraine today with a complete package of $414 million for cutting-edge drones to help fight Putin's illegal invasion, the UK Ministry of Defense, MOD, said in a Thursday statement. Shapps said Ukraine has already been using UK-donated weapons to unprecedented effect to help lay waste to nearly 30% of Russia's Black Sea Fleet and encouraged international partners to join Britain's drone supply effort. A total of $128 million from the latest drone package will be spent on maritime capabilities so Ukraine can turn the tide in the region, but London did not say when the aircraft will be delivered. Over the course of the war, drones of various design and mission capability have contributed to the destruction or damaging of thousands of pieces of Russian equipment and vehicles, added the UK mod. It noted that highly maneuverable FPV drones have been effectively deployed to avoid Russian air defenses and strike their targets. When committing to co-lead the European Drone Coalition, London said that it would stand up an industry competition to scale up and streamline the West's provision of FPV drones to Kyiv. In 2023, the UK locally developed and manufactured hundreds of one-way attack drones for the first time. Military analysts say that the manufacturing and technological capabilities required to produce one-way attack or kamikaze drones are not difficult, the aircraft are also produced at low cost compared to more advanced systems. Russia continues to heavily rely on Iranian-designed Shahed series attack drones for strike operations against Ukraine, with reports emerging in January that Moscow and Tehran had struck a deal for a new Shahed 107 system at an estimated cost of $2 million. A security source told that the drone has AV tail design, range of 1,500 kilometers and can be launched from a vehicle while Ukraine claims to have produced 300,000 drones last year and has built up a 60-unit UAV strike force. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has consistently pressed international partners to deliver more drones, ammunition, air defense systems and long-range munitions to thwart Russian attacks, amid Moscow recently seizing control of new territory, including the eastern Ukrainian town of Avdivka. Zelensky said in a post on X, formerly Twitter, that discussions with Shaps mainly addressed bolstering Ukraine's air defense and long-range capabilities, as well as meeting other urgent needs for weapons and ammunition and developing joint weapon production. At present, the recent advance of Russian forces on Ukraine's eastern front appears to be slowing as Kyiv's embattled units establish new defensive lines following the fall of Avdivka last month. Ukrainian troops appear to have avoided a feared collapse of local defensive lines following their withdrawal from Avdivka in February, after years of tough fighting over the fortified Donetsk settlement in the east of the country. Russian forces scored limited advances at other points along the Donetsk front, though this has not precipitated a breakthrough of Ukrainian lines there. The Institute for the Study of War's Sunday update of the battlefield situation reported continued positional engagements, but no significant Russian gains. 
This weekend, that Russia's slow advance has become bogged down around the Donetsk villages of Berdichy, Orlivka and Tonenki where the open ground beyond Abdivka has made assaults more difficult. Kyiv has reportedly drafted in some of its best units to head off the Russian thrust here, including some armed with American-made armored vehicles and tanks. Dmitro Lihovy, the spokesperson for Ukraine's Tavrisk Eastern Military Grouping, told Ukrainian television on Friday that that the situation in the Avdivka direction has stabilized and the advance has actually stopped. The Russian military is making small movements in this direction, which are of a local nature. The most active is the Novopavlivsky direction, where the Russian military is concentrating its main efforts after the withdrawal of the Ukrainian troops from Avdivka, Lihovy said. Though Russia's advance has slowed, serious concerns remain about Ukraine's position after more than two years of full-scale war, and commanders in the field and leaders in Kyiv have repeatedly warned that Ukrainian troops lack the necessary weapons and munitions to stop and reverse Russia's grinding gains. Both Europe and the US have failed to maintain a sufficient tempo of military assistance, European Union nations last month agreed a major new $55 billion aid package for Kyiv but have been unable to supply the 1 million artillery shells promised last year. More recently, the Czech Republic has said it will raise enough funds for 800,000 shells to be purchased for use in Ukraine, but the deal has not yet been agreed. Meanwhile, in the US partisan gridlock in Washington DC is proving the most troubling recent development for Ukraine's war effort. But Ukrainian troops withdrew from Avdivka outgunned by the attacking Russians, citing the stranded U.S. aid package as a key factor. President Volodymyr Zelensky warned in February, keeping Ukraine in the artificial deficits of weapons, particularly in deficit of artillery and long-range capabilities, allows Russian President Vladimir Putin to adapt to the current intensity of the war. <laughs>